and girls, are you ready for another fun Bible and activity time today? Well, today we're going to be doing some fun things having to do with sticky things or things that stick together. Do you know, the other week, Miss Bible Bluey did a whole lesson about dolphins, and she talked about how dolphins were really good friends because they stuck together, and about how in the Bible, David and Jonathan were great friends, and they stuck together. Maybe you have a friend that you do everything with. When I was a teenager, I had a friend named Rebecca, and she and I used to do absolutely everything together. And she was a great friend, and we stuck together for a lot of years. Today, we're going to talk about the best friend that you'll ever have who always sticks with you, and his name is Jesus. And Jesus gave us some things. God gave us some things in his word that helped us to become good friends. There's a Bible verse in Proverbs 18.24 that's going to be our verse of the day. And that verse says, a man that hath friends must show himself friendly. That means you can't be a grump if you want to keep friends. And there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. Do you know who that friend is that sticks closer than a brother? Right, that friend is God. Well, we're going to talk about some sticky things. We're going to make a really fun, sticky snack for later. And we're going to sing some songs. So are you ready for today? Are you have your, Do you have your singing voice on? Let's get started with a song. Our first song is about our friend that sticketh closer than a brother, God. Do you know that sometimes we feel like nobody's listening to us? And maybe you feel like mom and dad aren't listening to you or your teacher's not listening or maybe you have some concerns. But do you know that God always sticks with us and we have to talk to God and let him know about our cares and problems. And I have a song that's all about that today. So I want you to sing along with me to Did You Ever Talk to God Above? Are you ready? Did you ever talk to God above? Tell him that you need a friend to love. Pray in Jesus' name, believing that God answers prayer. Have you told him all your cares and woes? Every tiny little fear. He knows you can know he'll always hear. And he will answer prayer. Whisper on a cloud to him. You can cry when you're alone to him. You don't have to pray out loud to him. He knows your thoughts. On a lofty mountain's peak, he's there. In a meadow by a stream, he's there. Anywhere on earth you go, he has been there from the start. Answering God's word, it's true. You'll be strong because he walks with you. By his faithfulness, he'll change you to God answers prayer. Do you know that, that God answers our prayers? I'm so glad that God is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. Let's have some fun with our Bible verse today. Let's say it together one more time. It says, a man that had friends must show himself friendly. And there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. Do you like sticky things? Sometimes I don't really like sticky things, but I like to eat them. We're going to make a very sticky treat today. So I want you to go gather some supplies. I'm just going to wipe my hands here because I just put some cream on my hands before we started filming so that the cards wouldn't fall out of them. But now I'm gonna use my hands to make our sticky, sticky treat. Some things you'll need today is a bowl. You'll need some honey, some kind of spatula. You need a one tablespoon measuring spoon. You need one cup of granola, any flavor granola. I have chocolate granola today um, because that's what I have in my cabinet. If you don't have granola, Take some oats, just some plain rolled oats, pop them in your oven at about 180 if you live in a Celsius country or 350 if you live in a Fahrenheit country. 
pop them in the oven for about five minutes just to get them nice and toasty and just use plain oats, that's fine. Um, so I have a cup of, of oats or granola. And then you need a half a cup of nut butter, any kind of nut butter, almond butter, um, cashew butter. I have peanut butter because we have a huge jar in our house and my family likes peanut butter. So what I want you to do is I want you to take your granola, dump it in your nice bowl, go ahead and get your peanut butter in there. And then I want you to, I want you to take your honey and you need two tablespoons of honey. Now, if you live where it's really cold right now, just pop your honey in the microwave for about 10 seconds and that'll make it work really well. My honey thinks it's too cold this morning to work because it's cold here in Brisbane this morning and it has decided it is too cold for it to come out of the, the, the container. So that's one. I should have turned my honey upside down to get it to the bottom of the jar. It does not want to work this morning. Do you ever wake up on a cold morning and not want to work? I think that's what my honey is saying today. It's saying it is too cold to come out of the container. So we're gonna get our honey. Now this is where you get nice and sticky. Do you remember our Bible verse that says, a man that hath friends must show himself friendly and there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother? Well, this is where we get to be all sticky. I'm just gonna get this all to the bottom here. I should have brought a plate, but I didn't think about it. So I want you to get your fingers in there. I'm gonna take my wedding bands off for a minute because getting peanut butter out of them is a pain. And I want you to just mash. You're gonna mash it until it's all a nice clumpy, clumpy mess. Do you see my bowl? I can't really hold it up and mash it. So, so you see it right here? It's gonna be a real clumpy mess. It's gonna look like this. And you're gonna say, oh, Mrs. Marshall, I don't really wanna eat that. So then what you're going to do, you're not gonna eat it like that. Ah, I need an off-camera assistant today. You wanna to take a pan and you're just gonna plop this down in clumps. Maybe my cameraman, AKA Pastor Joe, can show our clumps. You're just gonna pop the whole thing on a pan in clumps. You see how we're doing that? So you're gonna do the whole thing. You do your whole thing at home. I'm just gonna set mine aside in a minute here because I have quite a bit more in my bowl. So then, once you're done, get it off your fingers. If you need to lick them, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a mess over here. All right. Then you're gonna need to go wash your hands. So I am going to pause the recording for just a second I'm gonna go wash my hands and we'll be right back and talk about our sticky mess. Did you go wash your hands? My hands were a complete mess. It took more than washing to get all that peanut butter off because it was so sticky. Now, what you want your peanut butter treats to look like is you want it to kind of spread it out in clumps on a baking sheet or a baking tray. Or if you don't have a small baking tray that will fit in your freezer, just use whatever fits in your freezer. Then you're gonna take this and you're gonna put it in the freezer for at least an hour. It's gonna get really hard, but then when you bite into it, it's gonna be nice and chewy. And I want you to think about this week when you eat your snack. I want you to think about our Bible verse. Let's say it one more time together, are you ready? It says, a man that hath friends must show himself friendly, and there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. So every time you eat your sticky treat this week, I want you to think about your friend who sticks closer than a brother. Do you know what else I think about when I think about things maybe that would remind me that God is our friend that sticketh closer than a brother? I think of crayons. Do you ever notice, unless you go to office works or um, someplace like that, you can't just buy one crayon, can you? Do you ever buy just one crayon? I think I've only ever bought one crayon in my life, maybe once when I was a preschool teacher and I had to buy a box of 24 red crayons. But even then, I didn't buy just one crayon, I had to buy a whole box. <clears throat> crayons are one of those things that stick together. 
And I know a song about crayons and sticking together. Have you ever heard the song about crayons? I used to love this song when I was a friend, when I was little, because it reminded me of going roller skating with a friend. When I was young, our church used to rent out a roller skating rink with about 10 other churches, and this was my favorite song that they would play because every time they'd say a color, if you were wearing that color, you got to skate across the roller rink and you tried to see who could be the quickest. And so I always think of this song because it reminds me of the fun time I had with my friends. And it reminds me that friends stick together like God sticks with us. So we're gonna sing this song. Now this song has a lot of cards. So we're gonna take a brief pause between each verse because if I'm teaching in Sunday school I'm usually sitting down and I can put them in my lap but I have a lot of cards in my hand that I'm trying to get rid of while we film so just bear with me between each verse we're gonna take just a pause and I'll grab the next set of cards before we sing the next verse can everybody see this song has anybody ever sung this song before or is this a brand new song all right we're gonna sing in just a minute When I was just a little child, no higher than your knee, my mother bought a box of crayons just for me. I picked them up and I opened them up, then I looked way down inside, and the colors there reminded me of Jesus when he died. Oh, red is the color of the blood that he shed brown is for the crown of thorns they placed upon his head blue is for royalty which in him did indwell and yellow is for the christian who's afraid to tell have you ever heard that song have you sung it before have you ever sung it in sunday school and maybe your sunday school teacher held up a box of crayons and held up the certain colors. Mm, I remember doing that when I was in Sunday school. Do you know, when I was little, I didn't just stop coloring. I colored until I was probably 10, 11, 12. I know a lot of times adults even color now. So maybe if there's an adult watching, they can think about these colors as they colored. This is the next verse of the song we're gonna sing. Are you ready? <clears throat> So I colored and I colored until my crayons were all gone. And though I am much older now, my memories linger on. So when I see a little child with crayon box in hand, I'll tell them all the colors and I hope they'll understand. Red is the color of the blood that he shed. Brown is for the crown of thorns they placed upon his head. Blue is for royalty which in him didn't dwell. And yellow is for the Christian who's afraid to tell. What's he afraid to tell? Afraid to tell the Savior who died on Calvary, who died for all the sinners just like you and me. He's coming back again someday to be our King, and the colors in the crayon box we will sing. Red is the color of the blood that he shed. Brown is for the crown of thorns they placed upon his head. Blue is for royalty which in him didn't dwell. And yellow is for the Christian who's afraid to tell. So don't you be that Christian who's afraid to tell. Do you know what? God doesn't want us to be a Christian that's afraid to tell. Maybe next time you do something sticky, you will think of our Bible verse that says, There is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. Maybe next time you see a box of crayons, 
or you sit down and you color with crayons with somebody that's younger than you, you can tell them what the crayon colors mean to you. Do you know crayons are a great way to share the gospel? Because you can very easily look at a box of crayons and pull out a red crayon and say, do you know what? This red crayon reminds us that God loved us so much that he died on the cross for our sins. And that all of us sin, because sin is just the bad things we do. And that Jesus paid for those sins. You know, the Bible says that God loved us so much that he sent his only begotten son. But you know, the Bible does tell us too that it's very easy to make a decision to follow Christ. You can take out your crayon box and say, just like it was easy to pick a color, it's very easy to believe on Jesus. The Bible says that if we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, that we will be saved. So first we need to admit we're sinners, just say, hey, look, I know I do wrong things. Second, we need to believe that Jesus died on the cross for those sins. And then the Bible says that we need to thirdly confess. Confess is just a big word to say, yep, you're right, God, I'm wrong. Jesus, will you forgive me and come into my life and be my savior? So maybe next time you're coloring with a friend, if you have already asked Jesus to be your savior, you can tell them what the colors in this crayon box means to you. If you today don't know that Jesus is your savior and you want to ask Jesus to be a part of your life, please talk to a mom or a dad that might know Jesus or your pastor. Or if you're watching this video and you don't have a mom or a dad or a pastor that um, knows Jesus or you don't go to church, Hopefully you go to church and have a pastor that knows Jesus, but maybe you don't go to church and you say, oh, I need some help with that. Please contact me below and I will be sure to get somebody to talk to you. And if you are a Christian, don't be afraid to tell. Use a box of crayons next time with your child when you're with the child and tell them all that God has done for you and what he can do for them too. I hope you have a great day and I hope this week that you are a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. We'll see you next time, and don't forget to watch Bible Bluey. She's got some fun things coming up this week. Bye, guys.